I wrote the Big Heaven book and, and the spinoffs from the Big Heaven book specifically because I, in my own life, had, had been through a journey related to this subject where in Bible college and seminary, and I went to a great Bible college and a great seminary, but we never talked about the new earth. We never talked about the resurrected state. We rarely talked about heaven at all, and if we did, it was simply the heaven that you go to when you die if you're a believer. But that's the pre-resurrected state. Wonderful place. I mean, Paul says better by far to depart and, and be with Christ, to be absent from the bodies, to be present with the Lord. I mean, that, that's wonderful. But even when we're in the presence of Christ after we die, we're in what theologians call the intermediate state, meaning the resurrection hasn't happened yet. And Paul says, of all men, we're most to be pitied if the dead are not raised. It's the resurrected state for which Christ came into the world, conquered sin and death, was raised. His body's the prototype. Our bodies are going to be like his. We're going to sit at feast together with Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. They'll come from the east and the west, and this is the ultimate, the gospel's fulfillment, the unfolding drama of redemption, culminates in the resurrection of the children of God, as Romans 8 talks about. And, and that's the eternal state. That's where we'll live forever with the Lord. He'll come down from heaven, we're told in Revelation 21, and he'll dwell on the new earth with his people. And very honestly, we never talked about that in Bible college and seminary. And the fact of the matter is I have had innumerable pastors who have spoken to me and said, you know, I read your heaven book. I'm really excited. I'm preaching a series on heaven because now I feel like heaven is really something to get excited about because it's not floating up in the clouds. and It's the resurrected state with the Lord and with each other in a community and a redeemed culture forever where man and woman reign over a redeemed earth as God intended in Genesis 1 and 2. So it is shown to be in Revelation 21 and 22. And, and that's exciting.